Ladies and gentlemen, Comfort Killers Worldwide, man. You best be up right now. It's Get Uncomfortable with Stacey A. Cross and... Joe McCabe, we're coming live. Joe McCabe coming live from the Remax office, 4320 Main Street, Philadelphia, man. Beautiful Manny Young. And today we have a person with us that we've been trying to get in here since we started this podcast. This is Deborah Spence. Deborah, welcome to the Get Uncomfortable yeah, Podcast show. welcome. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, hey. there you go. There you go. <laughs> hey, listen, I met you um, about two weeks ago. You, yeah. did a, you did a little training here. You, did, you told your story right. to our agents here, and I was blown away. Why? Because, man, you beat the odds. And that, that reminds me of your book. You got a book out, Burning yeah. Desire. That's right. Beating the odds. That's right. Yeah, so you're, what, how, how many years are you in real estate right now? Three years. Three years in real estate, uh, crushed it the first year. I mean, people are like hanging on a survival thread. You like thrived your right. first year, and that has to come with some characteristic development, attitude. I mean, motivation, inspiration comes with something. I want to. I want to make sure we help <laughs> first-time real estate agent. You're thinking about going into the real estate game. This is the podcast for you. If you're in it and you're already in year one, how could you turn your business around? And or if you're crushing it, other tools that you could do crush it even more right we're gonna help them all today man all right. so how are you on a snowy day today? super awesome super awesome uh, 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 <laughs> that's what i love uh, uh, uh. <laughs> all right so your book i just read the reviews i got one review here um and uh i i read it i read okay. it. yep i read it it was a great book really helped actually your story like propelled me i was telling joe after i read it the the day i came in i was like man she inspired me man yeah, yeah there's some inspiration the stories are the best yeah That's like yeah. we were just talking about growth con yeah i go to growth con just for the stories That's yeah it. Yeah, because those are those are really what motivates you. If someone right. else could dig themselves out of a ditch, why cannot? Right, and that's right. and that's really the right. The and then you realize it. your ditch is really not even. It a ain't ditch. even no ditch. Right. <laughs> what I'm crying about yeah. ain't yeah right. yeah. yeah. You're you're nothing. Victim, you ain't in no ditch. You're on the surface, man. So yeah, the book, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can pick it up on Amazon. But it's called uh, Burning Desire: The Motivational True Story of How I Beat the Odds. And became successful selling real estate my first year in business. <laughs> Boom. Tell us why you beat the odds. What what got you into real estate? Um, well, I'll tell you why I beat the odds. Okay. Before I tell you why I got into real Boom. estate. Boom. Boom. Um, I beat the odds because I had no formal sales experience. I had no leads. Okay. Nobody like Joe here feeding me leads. Okay. Um, Remax experts. <laughs> <laughs> Plugging it. Plugging it. Yeah. I, I belong to no organization, not even a church. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not from the city. Okay. I'm from New York. Yeah. Um, so no uh, odds, man. center <laughs> influence. Yeah. You know, I'm a woman. You know, uh. when people think about real estate, they think about a tall white man. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm black. Uh. You know, black as night. Uh -huh. You know, so I don't fit the image of a typical real estate sure. agent. So um, I think that's a lot to overcome. Mm -hmm. And then I suffer from a debilitating condition. Mm -hmm. Which I won't get into because I want you to read the book. Read the book, Burning um, Desire. But I'm sick. I'm a single mother. Okay. You know, I'm black. I I, I don't have sales experience. Yep. Um, I don't have anybody giving me leads. Yeah. Like, how did I do it? Right. And you know, all those things that you say, each one of them could put people on their ass. Like, yeah. I'm black. Oh, that, <laughs> yeah, I, can't I can't get I up can't in the building. Right. Oh, people hate me. I'm yeah. There's no leads? Me. Oh, my God. What am I to do? <laughs> right. Yeah. These are right. all kind of like fun crushers man right they put you in they put you on your ass but you decided to change your mindset around these things of course um i have this burden inside of me that i wake up every morning so early like yeah. two three in the morning and i work so hard until the next day sometimes even you know one two in the morning because i have this desire to leave a legacy for my boys I have two boys. Yeah. I want to inspire them. Yeah. I want to be able to take care of my family. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to fail. I don't want to be in poverty again. Yeah. And um, you, you got, know, you got, you know what that's, that tastes I know like. what that's like. Yeah. You know, because I got my informal sales experience from just sitting on the corner in the South Bronx, just watching people. There you people. go. Mm -hmm. You know, just watching the street dealers, the hustlers, mm -hmm. and the pimps, the prostitutes, and mm -hmm. all that. You're just watching how they move and how they really get normal people to do extraordinary things. Persuasion, man. Yeah. That's crazy. You know, the we were power just talk of peer about influence, yeah, all peer of that. Influence, you know, I just everything. learned all of yeah. that informally, uh -huh. you know, just watching and observing, yeah. which I think people should just do anyway. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, I don't want to be at that point again. Yeah, you know, it's not. Yeah, so you're like we were just speaking to an agent uh, this past week, and one of the things he says, "Man, I can't fail." And that should be like the motivation to like let's go forward, right. let's do whatever that it alone, takes because right. I can't fail. Right. I got kids to feed, I got mortgage to pay, so let's win. You know, right. there's no other option. Failure is not an option. That's it. That's you know? that's it. So all these odds, you know, all these odds are coming at you, and you're going into real estate. How'd you get? How, why real estate then? I was selling prepaid cell phones um, out here in Philadelphia, and I wasn't making much money, and I was, you know, I was. I was having to hear a lot of, I was having to deal with a lot of drama from the employees making yeah. minimum wage and just unhappy with their life. And yeah. it was like, you know, why am I doing this? I was talking to my mechanic and he started telling me about real estate in Philadelphia yeah. and a vacant lot and on and on and on. And I shared a story in my book, but I came into real estate because I figured out I can make a lot more money a lot faster. Yeah. And, um, yep. that's that, it. So the, you looked at it as a vehicle then to get you to financial that. independence. Boom. Right. See, a lot of people, I, I mean, you know, I think doesn't assess what they're getting into like that. Right. You know, what's the vehicle that'll take me to where my goal is right. the quickest route. Right. You know, um, for instance, thinking back, like, you know, certain degrees or certain professions, uh -huh. I wouldn't even look at. I don't right. care. I don't care how big. Like, oh my god, I want to. No, this thing doesn't even get me <laughs> close to there. So, like it's, a master's in French. Or, like, not to, well, not, to, not, to, not anybody that has a master. It's true. true. <laughs> it's true, though. It's like I rather look at what's the top, the highest paid profession, and right. go into that. Right. Because if you're gonna go to school, go in school that could reap some, you know, to right. get that flip back. But that's good. That's good. So you chose uh, real estate as the vehicle. Same, same thing. Right, with financial me. independence. I mean, I didn't choose real estate because I wanted to show beautiful homes all, yeah. all day. I care less yeah. how the home looks. Honestly, boom. You know, I just chose real estate because it's the fastest, fastest. way to financial independence. Choosing that vehicle, Very and true. that's it. Choosing that vehicle. So now you're year one, man. You got you picked a broker, right? You need yeah. to hang your license. First of all, <laughs> how long did it take you to get your license? Was it one 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 and done? You passed it straight one up? One and done. Passed Damn, it. Damn. There she goes. Yeah. That motivation. One and done. Passed it first time. Yep. Waited a couple of months for it to pass uh with Harrisburg and yeah. with the company and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. And then uh December second, twenty fifteen, I'm on the phone. Boom. So what do you, you, know. you, what do you mean? Wait, wait, hold on. You're on the phone. So you first you, day, first day you first jumped day. on the phone. On um, the phone. so what did you hear about real estate from other people though? Before you learned what it was, what did your broker say? What did other agents say? How were they? I didn't mess to... myself up like that. See, I didn't talk to a lot of people. Yeah. If we I would have talked to the top yeah. producers in my office, yeah. they would have told, they would have steered me in a different direction. Uh huh. They're you jaded. know, Right. And what, what what's working for them now isn't what got them there. Right. If you did so, real estate 30 years ago, it's not the same. same. Yeah. Right. You know. Right. You know, nothing against them. I'm glad they survived real estate 30 years, but that's not going to help me get mm. started. Yeah. So I didn't, like, uh, I didn't mess up myself like right. that. Right. Taking information and I did talk and... to my broker. She said, hey, actually, it was the assistant manager who hired me. Yeah. I think they had a quota to me, yeah. honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, there you, you know, go. Hey, right. So sign up. She said, hey, you know what? You don't know anybody? You can't talk to your neighbors? No. Uh -uh, I'm scared to knock on the door. Mm. Oh, hey, you got to call people. Okay, no problem. Who okay. do I call? Expires in for sale by owner. No problem. Yeah. That's who I call. Yeah, so real, t I mean, I, that you're going to get a call too, but <laughs> we've been trying to knock this in that we got to pick up the phone. We got to call. We're even having a power hour here mm -hmm. every day right. in Remax to get people on the phone accustomed and acclimated to doing that because... Right. There's gold in that. And, oh, yeah. and and I'm glad that's why you're on here today because this is going to help, I'm telling you, so many people uh, right. get over the fear of, oh, there's no money in that. That's old school. That's not the way to go. Just, you know, plug up my Twitter and maybe I could get somebody. Oh, no. <laughs> and, and I want to talk about that too. But so okay. tell me about day one. You're on the phone. You're cranking it out. What script? Where's the script? In my heart. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. It's in my heart. Yeah. I didn't have anything formal written out. Hello, my name is Deborah. Yeah. I'm from XYZ Company. I can help you. Yeah. You know, not interested. Okay, sorry to bother you. Next. Next one. Not interested. I was getting excited. Mm. But all the no's because I knew by the power of numbers, Statistics somebody's going to say, yeah. And by the end of the day, I had three listing appointments. That's your first day. First day. Wow. 
You don't even know like real estate terms. You don't even really know what it is. And that's why I made it so easy. Yeah. Because I didn't get all caught up in, uh, you know, the comps for your area and this recently sold. Yeah. Yeah. The absorption rate. Who cares? Yeah. Let's do one right now. I'm going to answer the phone. Okay. This this is your first day. Try to get back in that seat. All right. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Ring. Hello. This is Deborah Spence, super awesome. I'm from XYZ Company. How can I help you? Deb, who is this? Listen, what, what? I noticed your home was taken off of the market yeah. the other day. Yeah. Are you still interested in selling? Of course I am. Obviously. How about I come over, we sit down, we have coffee. I but bring I don't you know donuts. Who you are. You'll find out when I come over. All we're going to do is talk 10 minutes about real estate. Are you interested in real estate and selling your home? Absolutely. Okay, I'm interested in real estate and selling your home. Mm. All I can do is just come over and have a conversation. I'm not trying to lock you in. Yeah. I don't want to have you sign a contract. Right. I don't want you to commit two years of your life to me. I just want to have coffee and donuts and talk about real estate. So you're talking from the heart, which means you're really genuinely trying to help the person that I'm really to trying home. to help the person. They did house didn't sell. Yeah. In this market, they did some wrong. Yeah. You know, I'm just trying to help. That's so you're all. just trying to sell me on coffee. You're right. not trying to sell my house. Right I'm now. not trying to sell real so estate we, over the phone. <laughs> that's what I think. That's what we go in the call expecting. Like, damn, this is I'm, I got to get this, this and that. So we mm-hmm. we kind of overcompensate what we could do, and naturally right. we could just be natural. Hey, listen, I'm, tri- I'm I, I want to go over some things. You mm-hmm. know who I am. Right. I know what you want. I'm for hire. You know, you're looking for somebody to hire. You know, interview me. Mm. It's really just an interview. Okay. See who you feel comfortable with. Yeah. Now, will you say no? Maybe. Yeah. You'll say yes, no, maybe doesn't matter i'm gonna still make the next call even if you say yes i'm not gonna jump up and down because you just gotta get go. on yes yeah. on bright and look up the con too much already yeah and you know call this one and say hey i got a listing appointment so what nobody cares nobody yeah cares. Nobody yeah cares. Well, let's talk about the roadblocks the agents put up <clears throat> okay because we yeah. brought this up when you spoke for everybody and like i've heard everything from well you know, Joe, I want to have a meeting with you because I'm going to start cold calling. I'm going to start using land voice, but I want to, I want you to read my script first. No, I, I want you to show me how to run comps. I want you no. to show me, um, so I, much. I want to have the website in place. So they have somewhere no. to go to look up who I am and do all this shit. No. Whereas the people who are successful day one, you, me, Stacy, yeah. Jess, other people in this office, uh, Tyree, yeah. they came in day one. I told them the Remax. same thing. I uh-huh. said, all you need to do is pick up the phone and, and call, call people. everybody. It yeah. doesn't matter if they said I'm expired for sale by owner. Just call them and say, hey, I'm Joan with Remax. If you're ever thinking of buying and selling, whatever it is, let's talk. It's yeah. a right. conversation like anything. It's like getting right. a coffee at Starbucks. Right. It's just right. a conversation. Yeah. Right. But right. So these agents put up all these roadblocks, and then they end up not being successful or taking three years before they finally right. are. Right, because they put too much into it. Who cares about the comps in the neighborhood? It doesn't matter. You know? Yeah. Who cares how to look it up? Eventually, if you get the listing, somebody will help you. Yeah. You know, I'm sure you'll be really excited to sit right. down and help That's them true. once they get the listing. That's it. But if you have nothing, you know, just get on the phone. Call look people. at this. We're going to get on the phone right now. We have a person that wanted to ask you a question, and uh, let's see if she picks up the phone. <laughs> Hey, uh, this is Stacy A. Cross on the Get Uncomfortable podcast show with Joe McCabe and my guest here. Super awesome, super awesome, super <laughs> awesome, super <laughs> awesome. And um, I know through the grapevine that you're a first year uh, real estate agent. You just came on to Remax Experts. Nala Holloman yes. who's killing it. And um, you had a question, a couple questions for Deb. She's sitting here live in the studio right now. Shoot her off with a question and let's see what she could do. Yes, Deb. Hi. So nice to to be on the podcast. Um, I was actually able to meet Deb in person when she came to speak in our office a couple of weeks ago, and I was so inspired by by your story um, and just everything that you overcame to you know reach the level of success that you are today. So I felt super inspired after our first meeting. Um, so the questions I had today were in regards to to your method of cold calling, and you know I know that things have kind of changed in the past couple years. So for new agents like myself, um, do you still believe that cold calling is the most efficient or the best way to to build that pipeline and get the ball rolling? Absolutely. I think, I think, well, correction, I think it's the most efficient way and the best way if you have no money. 
If you have no money right. to invest 20K on Realtor.com or Zillow or Boomtown mm -hmm. or all the other things that can promise you the sun, the moon, and the stars to give you lead generation, then yes, cold calling expires right. in Fizzbos. It's free of charge. And, you know, you pay your phone bill. Mm -hmm. That's it. You got to pay your phone mm -hmm. bill anyway. Um, can we right. see prepaid from you? <laughs> She's not in that <laughs> Um, you know, yeah, and that and at Remax mm -hmm. um experts they even provide the the expires and the FISBO. So yeah, yeah, we do. yeah it's, we the, do. It's, right. it's the best way. Yeah. Nothing's changed mm -hmm. from three years ago. It's still the same. People will try to sell their home and it'll expire. Um people right. will say, right. um, I can do this myself, I'm gonna throw it up and you know, see what happens, see what sticks. Yeah. As a first mm -hmm. sale by owner. Mm -hmm. That doesn't change. Right. And that's a great point to make. If you don't have, you know, it takes a lot of money, which I'm really starting to realize coming into this. Um, it takes a lot of money up front to, right. to be able to do certain things. So I, I think it's great to mention that cold calling is still a good way to get things going if you don't have, if you don't have the money up front. Right. So that's a great thing to, to let new agents know that they do have that option and they can still grind and just keep calling and keep going. Um, so thank you. And I also had one more question. Um, so now that, that you are more established, do you have any um, any new methods that you use to attract new clients, or um, are you using your same formula that is? I say the same thing. I say the same thing. I still make cold calls this t up until now, this day. Um, do I get Absolutely. referrals? Of course. Absolutely. After three years, if I'm not getting referrals, then I did something wow. wrong my first year. So, yeah, do I, yeah. do I search for leads from my previous clients? Absolutely. I call them every day about 10 and say, Hey, you know, I sold your home X, Y, you know, months ago. Do you have anything else for sale? Do you have any family members? Yeah, yeah. So my cold mm -hmm. calling, yeah. Do I do expires and physical, but yeah, also warm call or hot call, uh, my current clients or previous clients and get additional business. Do I door knock? Absolutely. Right. I door knock, you know, I'm She's known. saying all the old school methods right now <laughs> that are still effective. Yeah. Right, yeah, definitely right. door knock. Uh, get a lot of listings from just knocking on the door and say, hey, I'm here. I'm a real estate agent, you know. And um, so, yeah, I don't send out mailers, um, postcards, just sold, just listed. I don't do any of that. I cold call, I talk to my clients, and I knock on doors. Damn. Thank you so much for your uh, call, Nala. Uh, we're going to continue with this. I appreciate it. Hope you find uh, value in her answers here today. Thank you so much, guys. It was great talking to you. Have a great day. Okay, you thank yeah. you. So, yeah, no, you said it right, but you're still on this, like, man, face-to-face. -face. You're doing all the things that people are fearing, and it right. seems to me that the gold is in the things that you're fearing, right. and that's why it's get uncomfortable. That's why how big, how big of a of an end result do you want, the outcomes. Right. I've listened to a, um, a great, great uh, speaker uh, on an interview the other day, and he mm -hmm. said, man, if I know the outcome is going to be the same all the time just having this recipe, mm -hmm. why not work that recipe? Right. So why, I have, why would I change it? Why would I change that recipe? So right. that recipe worked for you, and I know because it's a you know, standalone recipe, mm -hmm. it could work for any one of us. Right, of course. Yeah. So I want to talk about activities. you have a question? Yeah, I was going to shift gears, kind of. Yeah, yeah, bit. no, that's what we were yeah. going to do. Yeah. So <clears throat> we were talking about um, relationships before mm -hmm. and how all of these companies, uh, there's so many cloud companies, they're trying to go right. virtual, right. they're yeah. trying to take the person out of the business, basically. Right. Um, I know we probably share an opinion on that, but <laughs> what do you feel about this ever not being a people-to-people -people business? Um, I don't know what's going to happen with the future of real estate, just like travel agencies, you know, right. they disappeared in the 80s. And then you had, um, you know, blockbuster videos and all of that disappear. So will real estate change? I'm sure everything, you know, changes. But you have to have, in my opinion, you can't sell real estate as a transaction. Mm -hmm. It's so emotional. It is. You know, yeah. you have the seller who's so attached to the house because they lived there for 40, 50 years. You have the buyer who's buying their home for the first time mm -hmm. and they have all the butterflies in their stomach. Right. They're nervous, they're sweating, they have seller's remorse, they go back and forth. You need somebody to hold your hand and say, you right. know what, it's gonna be okay, I'll yeah. take care of it. 
because I have no emotion about it. Mm-hmm. I care less, honestly, if you buy or sell. <laughs> See, I love it. I love it. So I don't have any emotion behind it. I'm all about the transaction. Yeah. But I'm a, you know, I'm a hold your hand. Yeah, I'm yeah, a yeah. Rub your shoulder. You're neutral. I'm gonna make you, you have comfortable, to, yeah. and I'm gonna yeah. do the same thing for the buyer. Yeah. You know. So, can you take that emotion out of it? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. You know, it has it's to be people a are person. still going. To, yeah. Yeah, it has to be a person in the middle of all of these transactions and the blockchain and all of that stuff yeah. that's gonna be set up for real estate transactions and Amazon and all of that stuff. And if you even think about it, Amazon has a customer service yeah. center where. You, you call up, hey, I didn't get my order. Get it's okay. How yeah. can I help you? Yeah, let me There's find still, out. Right? Yep. There's still a person in yeah. there. Right. You know, real estate, I don't think it'll be customer service on the phone, but it'll be some form of I need to touch and feel this person and yeah. make sure that they really can help me. Right. You know? Yeah, I had a call this morning and um it was one of the leads called called in looking for a home in Eden and um just giving him the information, just kind of like calming him down. He's like, wow, you're the first person mm-hmm. that took the time to let me understand something that I, I was That's scared so about. so complicated. Yeah, right. it was so complicated. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it really isn't. To me and you, it, it isn't. But right. how do we dumb it down into like a, a ninth grade, eighth grade, even seventh, fifth, sixth, fifth? Fifth, fifth. 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 grade. It has to all be mm-hmm. fifth grade. Buy house. You give me money. I buy. <laughs> that's right. Right. And that's what real yeah. estate yeah. agents mess up. Yeah. Yeah. Talking is crazy. It's too you much lingo. lingo. The DNI you know, you're on the BNI. to somebody on right. the other side of the phone that's in his underwear sitting at the kitchen table. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. like, like, I'm just trying to get my family right. I'm just trying to sell this home. I'm trying to move to Florida. Yeah. I'm trying to. I don't have any they time for provide that for my son's education you know they're trying to do regular things and we're talking all up here yeah and if you could just make it simple fifth grade yeah you know most people you know read on fifth grade level yep so you gotta do yeah all marketing messages too oh, stop trying grade. to make yeah they're yeah. they're like fourth third grade and, and yeah. actually that's when you get an a for your marketing message when it right. when your nine-year-old yeah. could read and understand it not right. you know um so yeah i had i wanted to know because I'm all about habits and attitudes and activity on a, and, and routine. Mm-hmm. What does it take to get a sex, a, a, a sex, sex room? <laughs> That's, That's what happens. Sex, Boy, Yo, this is, we really shifted <laughs> we really now. Shifted. Uh, successful routine in your day to day. So, uh, tell me your, 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 your day routine. Um, uh, like what I kind said, of things I get up you very do early in the morning, like three, four in the morning. Yeah. I pray, I read, I meditate, I write Power in hours. my journal. Yeah. I, I say thank you to everybody. Yeah. You know, and then, you know, seven o'clock in the morning, I'm ready to work. Whether yeah. it's, you know, getting on the phone, calling Fizzbowls, which by the way, they like, Yeah. you know, they want to get it out of the way before their day starts. Yeah. Um, or maybe it's, you know, I'm jumping back and updating my, my database so yeah. that I can call my, you know, previous clients. Um, so I'm literally on the phone at seven o'clock in the morning. And what time does your work day end? Uh, my work day ends probably, you know, with that kind of stuff, like, you know, three hours, four hours marketing. Yeah. And then after that, you know, I'm out in the streets, whether it's door knocking or, See? you know, and you're three years in the game. Oh Yeah. <laughs> it's like you didn't stop any of those things that made you successful no, year you one. Can't. Yeah, you can't. Why would I stop something that's working? The recipe, baby. Why would I stop? Why would I say, recipe. you know what, this is working so well. You know, let me just give it up. Yeah. You know, no, let me have somebody gotta, else do it for me. Yeah. Well, that's an important point because <clears throat> most agents start in this business with zero dollars. They have no money whatsoever. Right. And they'll try to come up with these elaborate plans that they're going to go out there and blow up. They're going to do all the social media crap. Yeah. They're going to be celebrity agents yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like, no. Yeah. Mimic what works. Pick up the phone. Start dialing. You have zero dollars. Right. You know, if you were to do 55 transactions, you could make easily 200 grand a year. Right. Yeah. Easily. Just right. by picking up the phone and calling And then people. you can pay, you know, to advertise the celebrity. Do I want yeah. to do that? No, no. care less. Yeah. You know, who it is that's buying, actually, that I'm selling right. you know, a house for or helping buy, yeah. I care less. They could be Joe Blow in the corner, or yeah. they could be a celebrity. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm all about trying to get to my goal. Yeah. You know? Pulling pulling the, the hoopla and the fluff out of it. And yeah. Just let's, let's stay with the meat. You know what I mean? Right. Right. I like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Joe, you have anything uh, you want to you wanna bring to the table for, for Deb? No, I want to do bring up again about because we're always trying to deliver value to the agents and it's like <clears throat> you know and sometimes i say i'm like beating a dead horse right but it's like it is so easy it really is that you easy started off be. with uh cold calling the correct? exact same thing yeah you know, i didn't do 55 deals my first year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, i did yeah. not do 55 yeah. deals were you I on a like team 25 were you on a team no wow 
So I, start, I was on a team my second year. Okay. And that's when I really started to scale upwards. Okay. But, mm-hmm. um, first year, like 25 deals, but it was cold calling. I yeah. used white pages. Yeah. Know? I didn't even have land voice. That's white what pages. You were telling your story. I was like, you fuckers. So you I'm giving you land, land voice, voice and you're still not yeah. doing it. And they yep. don't use it? Yep. You remember, when I, you remember when I asked the question? I was like, so where do you get all your leads to start this cold call? I was sitting right there. Uh-huh. And you're like, land voice. Joe looked, looked, we locked on. Joe <laughs> looked right at me and was like, Did, what the f-? And uh, yeah. But yeah, um, ever since you did come, I believed our cold calling uh, you know, engagement has gone up. Everybody's, Skyrock, yeah, everyone's the, everybody's going. trying to, uh, you know, really get, get on the phones and do that. Look at the board when you leave downstairs. The okay. board, like three times what it was. Yeah. Okay, good. Yes. So, so you did, uh, implemented power hour. Yeah, power hour was where we get on the phone where people, you know, eight new agents and we could all listen to each other call. Hey, right. take this one. It gives you energy. When they say no, yeah, we laugh. I mean, I want to have some competition when I'm calling. That's it. You know, I want them to say, you know, I'm calling from, you know, I had got 10 calls from Joe McCabe's office already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I could be like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's how it's got to be. We got to turn um, turn it into fun. So, you know, on those down days, though, on, you know, what did you keep in mind to keep you going? Um, you know, because your entire year, was it on a high plateau? Oh, no, it's a roller coaster. That valley, ride. yeah. It's, yeah, it's a valley. High um, and lows. Uh, I'm a motivation board. Yeah. You know, it's like a whiteboard. And motivation on the top. I have pictures of my boy. Yeah. Um, Bible quotes. Yeah. And then all my little successes. Like if uh, I had a listing appointment for two point five million. Yeah. Mind you, I never got a listing for yeah. two point five million. Yeah. But I had a lot of listed appointments set. Yeah. I would put that. It's a small thing, but it made me excited. Like I actually convinced somebody. Boom. That owns a home that's worth two point five million. Boom. This little, you know, scrawny yeah. chick from the Bronx. <laughs> BX right? baby. <laughs> Convince somebody, and that's to me, that's power. So yeah. put it on my board. Yeah, you know my license. You know, put right. it on my board. So that's you're nice you're always looking. Say. You're always looking ahead little, at the motivation. Little, little little wins, little wins, because you can get so down in this business. Mm-hmm. You can have three fall through one day. Yeah, yep. you know, I'm sorry, didn't pass appraisal, didn't pass inspection. Yeah, buyer went bought a car. Yeah, you know, fucked like, everything oh, up. Buyer right. canceled their check. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. Check bounced three yep. times. Yeah. Is it? he disappeared. Yeah. He's gone. He went to Russia. <laughs> right, went to Russia. That yeah, happened. somebody yeah. uh broke into the house. You ah, know, stole all the copper. It's squatters so many that, yeah. that can go wrong. Mm-hmm. You know, and that you know those checks you were counting on just disappearing, yeah. disappearing, yeah. disappearing. So how do you keep going? You have to think about okay, I did win. At one point, you know, I was successful at one point. Hey, I got a listing for two point five million. You know, I got my license. I passed that hardest shit yeah. uh real estate exam. Yeah. You know, I um you know, I had five listings one month. Yeah. I had five settlements one month. Yeah. You know, or I had six settlements one month. Now the next month you done. might have nothing, but you still had wins in the past. And if you could do all of that at one point, you could if do you keep even more going. You get to me. It's like you're one failure away from success. Damn. You yep. know, and I used to on my motivation board. I had um, uh, a little like image, a picture about Abe Lincoln. Yeah. About how he, you know, he his fiance died. He went to be a senator and failed. Failed. Like, yeah. Lost. Like he, two, three he went. Times. Yeah. You know, a how, lot of times. Yeah. Yeah, a lot yep. of times. Mm-hmm. Like how how he had a nervous breakdown. Yep. You know, went batshit crazy. Yep. But he still kept going, kept yes. going, kept going, became president of the United States. Yeah. And we still talk about this man, like, what, 100 and something years later? Yep. yep. You know, so I hope, you know, I'm building a legacy. And I hope someone's going to talk about Deb, who got up every day and tried, despite the odds, you know, despite the difficult odds, she still kept going and didn't make excuses. I didn't complain that, oh, I'm black, can't make it in this yeah. country. I didn't complain that there's a glass ceiling for females. There's no glass ceiling if you sell real estate. Yeah. You no. know? So stop trying to jump into it's your the own per, your right, own belief. Jump, yeah. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. I didn't complain that I'm a single parent and oh, oh. it's so hard. Uh. No. Like all the moaning and groaning, no. You know, there's really no excuse. There's no reason to complain. But in real estate, yeah. because you have it's like a, a free road. Yeah. Just and, jump on it, do what you have to do, and you'll get to where you And there's so it. many people out here. There's there's so much abundance out here. So many people right. buying there's and enough, selling. There's enough. There's enough. There's enough for all of us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to worry about, uh, man, Joe McCabe's eating up all of a $2 million deal in Bustleton right. Avenue. Yeah. That's yeah. on the board downstairs yeah. right now. Damn. <laughs> no, I'm on the Hey, hey. So, you know what this is? Oh, so gross. 
<laughs> hey, I just have to make sure that we put this here. Hey, listen, uh, Burning Desire is the name of the book. Deborah Spence, um, man, you're an inspiration to, I think, not only females, black women, just like first year realtors. First no matter, year, no matter agents, what, new agents, new no agents, matter who, matter how you look, does it not matter? Not even if you're a man. It's hard to be a new agent. It it's tough, really man. Hard. It's really difficult. But so, if you could survive your first year, you can do survive, anything. Second, third, yeah. fourth, you'll make it. What's new? What's new and exciting for Deb? What are we looking at now? Year four? You're in year four. Year three? Year, uh, year six? Owner what? being broker, be your owner, See? operated by myself. Bang bang. Um, Nobody to answer to. Not that it's a bad thing right now. We were trying to recruit you on the low. That's why we wanted. Hey, why? Hey. Well, well, why, that's why we actually invited up you uh, up yeah. here to, to recruit you. And you're over here talking about you're about to go out on your own, be a broker. Come on over. Come on. Pass that broker exam. Uh, congrats. You know, congrats. The paperwork and then, you know it's just a waiting game right yeah, now. Yeah. Congrats. Just up things. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's that's the future for them. Like I said, legacy building. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, obviously it would be great to work for another company. Yeah. And, you know, as associate broker and so on and yeah. so on. And it, for my company, I love HomeSmart. It's a great place. Yeah. But I need something in my name for my boys. Yeah, you know, I got you. I, I'm trying to motivate my boys to say, like, look, your mom had a hard way to go, but she you hustling still- for your last name, man. Yeah. You're not hustling for the first name. The that's right. Season. Yeah. yeah, it is important. Yeah. And I do love Bill Kratz with all my heart and soul, but... Billy! Billy we're about Bob, to, boss man! Yeah. We're, about to, we're, about to, we're about to take that. Home is a great agency. Yeah. Joe McKib, I love. Yeah, Joe's, oh, Joe's a winner all yeah, day. Yeah, he is. He's a good guy. He's cute, too. He's <laughs> Don't... Why you got it? See, we got... Hey, why you got everybody that got comes... Bigger. Yeah, his head camera. just... Damn, let me turn it off because we can't catch him. <laughs> oh, my God. Why did you have to say it? My man, when I first met him, I was like, who is the Tom Cruise? <laughs> like, coming up, like, damn. Um, But, yeah. Joe's an awesome guy. He really wants everyone here to succeed at Remax Experts. I mean, new agents, seasoned agents, we're always trying different things. We're 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 open, we're very creative here. Right. What's gonna take us to the next level? But most of what we talk about here is doing things that work. Right. So the cold calling, the door knocking, all those things we, we sit around this desk and we're like, Hey, what are we gonna do? And it right. always falls back on those techniques. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's nothing else to think about. There's nothing else to, yeah. no matter how big our social media plan is, it's like, yeah, well, how many calls did you do? Because right, it doesn't right. matter. Right. You because know? even on social media, you still have to bring them offline. Yeah. You still right. have to meet them in person. Yeah. You know, and how right. do you do that? You still have to call them. Yeah. You know, yeah. hey, you know. Yeah. So you're online. Can we sit for coffee? Were you, are you an introvert? Extremely. Really? Extremely there you go, guys. Shy. I know somebody else that's shy that said they can't get on the, they can't get on the phone because they're shy. Oh, so. I'm extremely shy, like beyond shy. Yeah. But I practice. Good. You know, I practice in the mirror. Yeah. And if you practice, you in practice the mirror, in the mirror. I do. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. okay. I had to practice in the mirror a lot. I couldn't say the name of my company. Oh my first snap! Company, I couldn't pronounce it. Yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. I practice on my words and, and yeah. on and on and on. But I mean, we could talk on and on and on. I just want everybody to get on the phone and call. Boom. Stop being a piker. Stop being a punk. <laughs> Stop being a punk. Hey, you heard it here from uh, Deborah Spence on the Get Uncomfortable Show with Stacey A. Cross. There's no E in my name. And Joe McCabe. <laughs> Hope you get the message now. Pick up the phone. Start dialing. It's Boom. Not complex. Well, the first number you could dial is yours, right? Call because got first year realtors. First year agents, come on over to Remax. Like Deb Our says, agents we are get getting eighty nine leads a week. Eighty nine we lead look weeds. A week. I'm, I'm <laughs> going again. We talking about sex, sex drugs. <laughs> Let me put the this alcohol on. next. Nah, that Joe's here <laughs> for that. Brooklyn podcast. Yeah, I got the alcohol. <laughs> Joe's got the alcohol. All right, guys, I had fun today. Um, enjoy. We're gonna let KRS One take us out. Peace.